Okay, lesson 2, balance sheet approach versus income statement approach. So this is actually the continuation of lesson 1. So, I am reminding you that balance sheet approach is the same with prepaid method and income statement approach is the same with expense method. So, as I have mentioned on my previous video, that it only happens for advance payments na if ever magkaroon ng advance payment, you should check your previous transaction. Or as usual, if kakastart lang ng business, it's up to you to use balance sheet approach and or income statement approach. But the thing is, you need to be consistent. So, the balance sheet approach and income statement are both important financial statements that detail the financial accounting of a company. So, the balance sheets details a company's assets and liabilities at a certain period of time, while the income statement details income and expenses over a period of time. It is usually done per year. So, kapag balance sheet approach or prepaid method, tandaan natin ng point of view ni accountant is as accountant himself. Kasi ang point of view ng income statement is good for the owner. Kasi nga, sa income statement, ang tinignan mo lang is kung nagbayad ka ba or naglabas ka ng pera. So, that's why uh, kapag income statement, automatic na, na kapag naglabas ka ng pera, advance payment man yan or hindi yan advance payment, ang nakalagay is expense. So, one important thing na kailangan nating tandaan is yung pay ring. Especially kapag advance payment na marireceive ni business. So, Kapag balance sheet approach or prepaid method, tandaan natin ang kapartner niya lagi is deferred income. While kapag income statement approach, ang laging kapartner niya is unearned income. So once na kayo ay nag-journal tapos ang nakalagay is balance sheet approach tapos mayroong advance payment, automatic uh, advance payment na marireceive si company, automatic, that is cash for debit and credit to deferred income. Pero if ang approach na ginamit is income statement approach, then meron kang cash, tapos ang as your debit, and then unearned income as your credit. So, parehas lang si deferred income tsaka si unearned income. The difference is kung saan major account mo siya ilalagay. Na since si deferred income ay ilalagay mo siya sa liability while unearned income ay ilalagay mo na siya sa owner's equity. So let's have an example. So ito yung advance payment pagdating sa expenses. So pag balance sheet approach, uh, may kita niyo diyan January 1 prepaid insurance credit to cash. So kung advance payment pero siya ay expense tapos naka-balance sheet approach ka, ang unang makikita sa journal is prepaid insurance. Tapos kapag Dating naman sa adjusting entries, dun palang lalabas si insurance expense. So, debit to insurance expense, credit to prepaid insurance. So, to adjust prepaid insurance to reflect expired portion. So, pagdating sa T-account, uh, una mong ire-record si prepaid insurance. Tapos, sa adjusting palang lalabas si insurance expense nang may kita mo is yung remaining balance ni prepaid insurance. 
while kapag nag-income statement approach ka naman, automatic ang lalabas for the origi- original entry will be insurance expense credit to cash. So, pagdating naman sa adjusting entries, prepaid insurance credit to insurance expense. Na sa adjusting entries pa lang darating si prepaid insurance or yung insurance na hindi mo pa nagagamit. So, pagdating nyo sa T-accounts, ang unang lalabas is insurance expense, tapos adjusting pa lang lalabas si prepaid insurance. Na ang kinukuha yung balance for that is the insurance expense which is nasa equity. So, kung mapapansin nyo, di ba, prepaid insurance, may kita natin to sa balance ng asset. Ito naman, may kita naman natin yung balance niya sa equity. So, balance sheet approach, prepaid method. May kita mo si balance sa asset. Pero kapag income statement approach or expense method, may kita mo si balance sa equity. Now, punta naman tayo sa uh, advance payment na marireceive naman ni company. So, yung nakikita nyo ngayon is an old version of balance sheet approach and income statement approach. So, sa so original entry, you, pag balance sheet approach, you will have cash then credit to unearned revenue. Tapos pagdating ng adjusting entries, at the end of the accounting period, magkakaroon ka ng unearned revenue, credit to revenue. So, sa T-accounts, ang may kita mo sa liabilities is unearned revenue. Tapos, tsaka palang susulpot sa adjusting si revenue. While, Kapag income statement approach, ang original entry natin will be cash, credit to, revenue. And then, pagdating sa adjusting, you have revenue, credit to, unearned revenue. So, kung mapapansin nyo, parang pinagbaliktad lang din naman siya. So, pero si revenue dito ay may kita naman natin sa equity pa rin eto sa liability. So, dahil nagkakaroon ng maraming confusion since cash tapos unearned revenue tapos pagdating sa income statement, may kita mo rin si unearned revenue, doon nila ginawa na maging deferred income kapag balance sheet approach. So, instead of using unearned revenue, we use deferred income. So, naging cash, credit to deferred income, tapos pagdating ng adjusting entry, magbabaliktad naman siya. Si deferred income ang magiging debit, magiging credit na siya sa revenue. Same with sa income statement, para hindi naman siya uh, confusing, ang magiging original entry is cash, credit to unearned revenue. Tapos pagdating sa adjusting, unearned revenue, credit to revenue. So, ang magiging parehas na lang sa kanya ngayon is the word revenue na pwedeng depende kung anong klasing business meron ka. So, if ikaw ay service business, instead of using revenue, pwedeng gamitin siya as professional fee, service fee, and so on. But since uh, we're using it in, for general purpose only, we will use revenue. So that's the end of balance sheet approach and income statement approach.